what's up guys adam here hope you guys are doing well so it's official i finally have yosemite running on the pc behind me and it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows especially towards the end there was a few hiccups towards the end of the installation process that i had to try and deal with uh, as soon as possible but i'm going to go ahead and give you a quick a very brief break and i have actually got yosemite running on the pc so after watching a bunch of YouTube tutorials and especially reading up a lot of the forums including Tony Mac x86 I was able to go ahead and actually start the full installation process so I went ahead and went to my friend he has a MacBook Pro so I was able to get a copy of Yosemite from there and create my Clover boot driver on a bootable memory so I had that all ready to set and go and then it was pretty much just configuring my PC to go ahead and try and actually get Yosemite running. So one of the few things I had to go ahead and do on the motherboard in particular was to go ahead and disable things like USB 3.0 and Ethernet. Basically, these were just to make sure that there was any issues. I didn't have any hanging time during the actual boot up of Yosemite. So I had to make sure I had to go and disable some of those features on the motherboard just for boot up. But there was an issue that I had to run into as well for some reason with the graphics card. Now moving on to the graphics card. There was something about the graphics card that just was not being able to be supported with Yosemite. So I had to go ahead and I just kept on trying and tried to uh, re-erect some of the boot arguments on um, on the actual installation for Yosemite. So I had to try and just adjust some of the boot arguments on that. And still for some reason I couldn't get uh, the machine to go ahead and boot into Yosemite. So I had to go and get myself another graphics card. So you're probably thinking, what do you mean you have to go and get yourself another graphics card? Well, because uh, the 980 Ti does not uh, have the capability to go ahead and boot up into Yosemite natively, I had to go and get myself another card that does boot into Yosemite natively until I was able to go ahead and enable the NVIDIA drivers in the actual Yosemite uh, boot up drive. So currently now in my hand, I have the GT610. It's a very inexpensive card from NVIDIA and it natively boots into Yosemite without any issue at all. It cost me around 30 pounds in addition to the overall cost. So I went ahead and got this in my hands on this card just to boot up into Yosemite. And I'm gonna keep this card, I'm not gonna go ahead and say I'm gonna keep it just in case I have any issues uh, further down the line with the 980 Ti since it's a pretty unstable card with Yosemite. So it's not really, it's kind of hit and miss really in terms of whether you're gonna be able to boot into Yosemite or not using that card and especially making sure your NVIDIA drivers are enabled uh, in Yosemite itself. So I'm gonna keep handy this card and keep this card really handy just in case I have any problems further down the line. And one of the final issues that I had was with the internet, which of course is gonna be quite an important thing uh, with the Hackintosh. Now for some reason, uh, I had, I've got three different Wi-Fi cards and I already know that Wi-Fi card is not really stable when it comes to Yosemite or comes to any sort of Mac platform, especially with the Hackintosh. Trying to find a compatible Wi-Fi card is pretty much impossible. I've got like four different Wi-Fi cards, none of them were compatible. Even though one kind of registered there that the card was connected, for some reason, it just wasn't uh, supporting the drivers uh, that she uh, built into the card itself. So, of course, most of the drivers that come with Wi-Fi cards are for Windows and Linux, not really supported for uh, Mac OS. So, of course, I had to try and just see if any of these cards were going to be compatible at all. I've got one that's already built into the PC, which is the PCI network card. And I've got three other USB Wi-Fi cards and none of them were compatible at all. I mean, I try all of them. I tried to see if I can try and search for any Mac drivers online through Windows. I just couldn't find anything. So I had to go the old fashioned route and I had to go ahead and get a 20 meter Ethernet cable. And I was just tried to unprofessionally wire it around the whole of the entire room into the other room where the actual hub is and connect it via there. I didn't want to go ahead and spend a whole heap of money trying to find different uh, Wi-Fi cards to see which one's compatible from which one's not compatible. So I thought just to be on the safe side, uh, especially for now anyway, I'll go ahead and get myself an Ethernet cable and just do it the old fashioned way, run the cable around the room into the uh, hub. Since the Ethernet cable is going to be a bit more of a secure connection, especially with the hacking touch, I thought I'd just go ahead and follow it with that route and see how things go from there. So that probably sounds like a whole heap of gibberish and I pretty much don't blame you for thinking that because I don't, I'm don't. i still learning this whole Hackintosh game myself. I'm still a beginner. I'm still got a lot of things to learn about Hackintoshing. Um, but the whole that's pretty much the steps that I took to get Yosemite running on my PC. And of course, it's going to be different depending on what PC configuration you have, especially considering the motherboard and the graphics card because those are two, the, the two big determining factors on how Yosemite is going to run on your PC. Uh, so anyway, I've heard a lot of things about people saying do not upgrade to Al Capitan. I'm going to listen to what they've got to say because of course I'm still a beginner. I don't want to run into any troubles by upgrading to Al Capitan. So I'm going to completely leave it now on Yosemite until I've got 100% uh, confirmation that it's safe to go ahead and upgrade to Al Capitan. So until then, I'm going to keep it on Yosemite and pretty much run things from there. 
Anyway, guys, that's pretty much been the update about the whole Yosemite running on my PC. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you find it useful. Anyway, guys, it's been Adam here. Thank you for watching. Take care. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next tech video. Bye for now and have a good one.